you're welcome to my channel we are going to be handling topic 3 business statistics which is called data presentation yeah in this video we shall start with data presentation data presentation is mainly presented in four ways data is mainly presented in four ways yeah there is text presentation tabular presentation graphical presentation and then diagrammatical presentation Text presentation, the data is presented in a word form. Yeah, it is in words. Then for tabular presentation, it comes from the word table. Yeah, so a table is a systematic organization of data in rows and columns. You organize the data in rows and columns. That is what we call data presentation. An ideal table should be concise, brief, and easy to read and understand. Yes. We are going to look at the features of a good table, what a good table must have. Yeah, first is a title. A title must accompany every table and it's always placed above the table. You first write the title before drawing the table. Yeah, it should be brief yet complete so as to identify all the data contained in the table. And it should be worded as to answer the questions. Yeah, like you write the title according to the question that was asked yeah it should be brief and it should always be written above the table yeah another feature of a good table that we have is a preferatory note or a head note it is a phrase usually placed above the title and in a lower case of less prominent letters it provides an explanation concerning the entire table or the substantial part of the table an example of a preferatory note or a head note can be all figures are in million dollars or all figures are in a thousand dollars, something like that. That's what we call a preferatory note. The head note or preferatory note gives additional information that would other way be crowded in the title if included or lacking if omitted. Yeah, so that is what we call the preferatory note. Then another feature we have is sub and caption. Sub describes data row ways, while caption describes data column ways. The sub describes the data in the rows, and then the caption describes the data in the column. Yes, yeah. so C for C, caption for column, and then sub is for rows. Then another feature we have is a source note. A source note, it gives the source of the information contained in the table, where you got the information from. That is what we call a source note. If the data is from a secondary source, the source note should quote the author, the title, the volume, page, and the publisher, and maybe the date, the date of publication. A source note is usually placed below the table. Yeah. Another feature of a good table is a footnote. A footnote is a statement which clarifies some specific parts of the table. It is also written below the table. Yeah, it explains things that are not self-evident in the table. Maybe you put some figures in the table like 1, 2, 3. So you come down and explain 1 means this and that, 2 means this and that. That is what we call a footnote. Yeah, it explains things that are not self-evident in the table. Like when I look at them, I can't just understand them unless you give me an explanation. Yeah. Then another feature we have is a body. The body contains the numerical information that the table is designed to present to the reader. Yeah, it, it shows the information that you're supposed to present to other people, the information that you're supposed to put there. That is what we call the body. Then another feature is called units. Units, the units of measurement or figures in the columns or rows are sometimes self-explanatory. Yeah, we we'll give units like centimeters, kilometers, kilograms, dollars, shillings, things like that. Those are the units of measurement of the figures in the rows and columns. Another feature we have is the subtotals for each separate class of data and then the grand totals for all the combined classes of data must also be given where appropriate. Then you should indicate a zero quantity or when the information is not available or ratio 
by using a dash. You put a dash to show that the information is not available or it wasn't given. Yeah, and then try to avoid abbreviations in titles and headings. Yeah, do not abbreviate because sometimes it's not it's, it's not that everyone will understand those abbreviations. So try to avoid abbreviations, especially in titles and headings. Do not use detail marks just because you want to save time. If a figure is re is repeated, you just put the detail marks. Yeah, you're not supposed to use them. Show it each time. Even though it appears 10 times, you write it. Yeah. Then lastly, if certain figures are to be given some importance, they should be placed in a box or a circle. If some figures are special, put them in a circle or in a box. Yes, so those were the 12 features of a good table. Now let's look at the types of tables. We have mainly two types of tables, the frequency distribution tables and then the cumulative frequency distribution tables. Frequency distribution tables, this is a tabular arrangement of data by class together with corresponding frequency. So the frequency distribution table has class and then frequency. Then for the cumulative frequency distribution table, it is a tabular arrangement of data that contains class boundaries and cumulative frequency. It contains class boundaries and cumulative frequency. And we use the cumulative frequency distribution table to come up with the OGIV and we use the frequency distribution table to come up with the histogram. Yeah, those are the two types of tables that we have. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and uh, watch my next video which I'll be continuing with other ways of presenting data which is graphical and diagrammatic. Uh,